Avanil Kumar and in this video we will understand the strategy to find integrals of trigonometric function. We have taken up an example where we need to find integral of tan to the power 5x secant cube x dx. As you note here tan and secant are actually very much related and we know a couple of relations between them. One of them is 1 plus tan square x is equals to secant square x and you also know what is the derivative of secant x. The derivative of secant x is let us say if I have a variable u as defined as secant x in that case du will be equals to secant x tan x right dx. So that is how they are very much related right. We need to take advantage of this to solve such integrals. Now if we factor out tan x secant x then both these exponents which are odd will become even for us. Now once they become even then since we have made a substitution or we want to make a substitution of secant x we want to convert tan into secant x right. So that is a strategy. So you could write tan square x as equal to secant square x minus 1 correct. So that is other strategy for us to solve this particular question. So now what we will do here is that we will rewrite this factoring out tan x and secant x with dx. So we have tan to the power of 4 x secant square x and then we have tan x secant x dx correct and now we are going to do the substitution u equals to secant x du equals to secant x tan x dx right now u is secant x so we don't want tan here so we'll replace this tan with secant square x minus 1 so we could write this as this tan to the power of 4 tan square so we'll write this as secant square x minus 1 whole square right times secant square x times tan x secant x. I hope this step is absolutely clear, right? Now at this stage you can always expand this and then, then multiply and then replace or you can substitute. So we prefer to substitute here. So let's substitute u for secant. So we get u square minus 1 whole square times u square times tan x secant x dx is equals to du. Do you see that? So now we have an integral with uh, just powers. So let's expand this. We have u to the power of 4 minus 2 u square plus 1 times u square du. That could be written as u to the power of 6 minus 2 u to the power of 4 plus u square du right and now we can write their integral which is u to the power of 7 over 7 minus 2 times u to the power of 5 over 5 plus u cube 1 over 3 plus c right now we'll replace u with with secant x to write down our answer. So we have the answer as uh, uh, secant x so secant to the power of 7x over 7 minus 2 over 5 secant to the power of 5x plus 1 over 3 secant cube x plus c right so that is how you could integrate that and now we'll also discuss a strategy if i kind of change the question right if i have integral of let me change the question and we'll discuss this we'll find solution in another video however here's a strategy if i change the question make them even for example if 
I make them tan to the power of 6x and secant to the power of 4x dx. Now in that case, what should be the strategy? Right? Now again, you know, since they are already square, now we can now substitute u equals to tan x. So du will be equals to secant square x dx, correct? Now since we, so we can keep one secant square x separate, so we could always write this as change secant square into tan x, you could write this as tan to the power of 6x times, instead of this, we could write this as secant square x and keep one secant square x with dx, right? And now we can convert secant to, we can write secant square x as 1 plus tan square x. Do you see that? 1 plus tan square x and this secant square x will be replaced by du, right? So at present I am writing like this only. Okay, now at this stage we could write this as we are substituting u for tan x, so it becomes u to the power of 6, 1 plus u square, right? And that becomes du. And now you can easily integrate. Do you see that, right? So you can now continue and integrate this one. I hope with this you understand if you are given product of tan and secant with any combination of powers, we need to take the advantage of their derivatives. Derivative of secant x is secant x tan x and derivative of tan x is secant square x and based on that we can decide what should be u and how should we uh, rearrange our equation to find the integral. I am Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.